Hey guys, it's Paul. And Justina Keys. It's Netflix and No Chill. Show about Netflix for people with No Chill. Stranger Things, episode 9, The Gate. Finally, we're uh, done. Oh man, this took a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this season gives me so many feelings. This was such <laughs> a good season. So um, many feelings. I didn't think that they would be able to do as good a job... Uh, in the second season, like I coming into the second season, I was really worried because this was like everyone. <laughs> yeah, but the like the first season did so well, and other than one episode, uh, I thought this was a flawless season. Um, other than seven, like we didn't really need it. Yeah, I mean, everybody thinks that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it was part of, if they had broken up seven into different parts of the episode and just kind of like sprinkled it up through like episodes five through eight, we would have been fine. Um, to devote that's the only misstep, but anyway, gate. We have the stage is set for the final battle. Uh, L and Hopper have to go and close the gate. Um, Jonathan and uh, Joyce have to burn their son alive, metaphorically. Um, by the way, Will, uh, he has been an amazing actor in this whole thing. Props to Noah. He, whew, he does so well. Oh my gosh. Um, sadly, oh. he, he, he plays being in pain extremely well. Oh my so, gosh. man, I don't know where he channels that from, but that's a dark place. <laughs> but it's a good dark place. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Uh, but while all this is happening, uh, we have a confer another confrontation between Billy and Steve. Oh my god. And even though I am hardcore team Steve, Billy beats the shit. <laughs> my problem with that whole thing is that the entire time the kids are just like sitting on the sideline i was like if i saw steve getting his ass kicked like i know i can't do much but i would have been running in there like stop hitting yeah my everybody jumps everybody jumps on billy and yeah and they just they, they would have stayed they would have kept steve from getting a massive concussion Jeez, i would have jumped on him when he picked up lucas by the collar i would have been yeah. like get off my friend because <laughs> clearly steve is concussed after this oh my god uh, but Max saves a day. If you did not, some if you some, I don't know why you wouldn't have liked Max throughout this whole season. True. But uh, if you didn't like uh, Max before, uh, this is the character defining moment where she stabs Billy in the neck with uh, with whatever knockout drugs are in that syringe, and basically uh, threatens to take Steve's bat and bludgeon. Uh, his, his his balls to, to to nothing if she doesn't leave him alone and um as a man i can understand where he almost instantly agrees <laughs> because yeah. yeah but i mean they show later on like right at the end of the episode where like she's getting ready to go to the snowball and he walks by and she just like shoots him a look and he doesn't say anything he doesn't yeah. even make fun of her so yeah no it's it's literally just like it's stuck it's stuck uh, so now we have those two people, and we have Team Steve that needs to figure something out, so they try to do a diversion, and, um, it probably wouldn't have happened if Steve hadn't gotten beaten the crap out of, um, he was the voice of reason, <laughs> and then... he was unconscious. He was unconscious, and he, he didn't, he couldn't stop them. Uh, and then you had a 13-year-old girl driving a car illegally. Yeah, 13-year-old girl driving a car illegally, they get to the tunnels, and they're going to build a fire... To basically pull all the demodogs away from the base, so that way um, Hopper and Eleven don't die, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, it works. Um, it works too well because they get there way quick. And then we have to say goodbye to Dart. Fuck Dart. Okay, listen, that was really sad. <laughs> it was really sad. Yeah, that was sad. It's sad to her. Personally, I feel that Dart should have been dead in the third episode, and then we wouldn't have had this well, okay. confrontation at the end. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but, it's like, for Dustin, it's like saying goodbye to, like, a, like a beloved pet. Yeah. And it's just like, oh man, that was a We already dog. said goodbye to a beloved pet. His name was... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, first of all, <laughs> Dustin was... didn't give a shit about Muse. His mom did. His... We had to say goodbye to Muse. R.I.P. Muse. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> Don't that hurt me. But Hashtag justice for Muse. Oh my god. <laughs> justice for Bob. <laughs> oh, poor Bob. Ah, oh, we get to see one last little 
thing from Bob is is uh, Will is frying and, and Joyce steals her resolve and uh, dreams of all the times she had with Bob and Shadow Monster or Mind Flare stealing that from her and she cranks up the heat and saves her son just in time for L to uh, close the gate and man I I, I gotta say. For a Netflix series, uh, which is basically a TV series, uh, lower budget than, than your typical movies, the special effects were really well done. And especially that last scene. And I'd imagine they probably blew most of the budget for the for this last episode, but it was so well done. And, okay. and loved uh, the battle. But then, the day is won. Everything's over. But uh, we still have one little thing in the resolution... Um, we have the winter formal. You're so tired. I know. Stranger Things takes a lot out of me. It's very emotionally draining. Especially the winter formal because she was crying through most of it. So cute. <laughs> we get everybody to pair off. My children. We get Max and Lucas to pair off and they start dancing. We get some <laughs> random girl to uh, start dancing with Will. Which is good for him because <coughs> he deserves love. <laughs> yeah, that, man, that man deserves... Although, he's the only one that didn't get kissed. Well, no, Dustin didn't either. But. Well, yeah, but... I mean, I'd hope not, in that sense. Yeah, that would be weird. Um, but, I mean, it's fine. I feel like he wouldn't know what to do with that. I feel like the fact that a girl approached him and he didn't have to approach a girl was enough for him. Yeah, I mean, he, he actually has had about a year and a half of his life stolen away by the Upside Down. So, so yeah. I mean, there's a year and a half of, de- of, of like human interaction and development that he really hasn't had. Back. Uh, so yeah, he's 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 still got his training wheels on, but it was such a touching moment. I want to fight all those girls at that middle school now. Yes, because they 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 shunned her boy Dustin, who looked awesome. He was the smoothest motherfucker out of all of them, and they were like, "No, fucking Stacy, you bitch." And Nancy swoops in to save the day, and I'm thoroughly convinced that Nancy and Steve will make an awesome divorced couple that will co-parent. And raise Dustin to be a nice old, well-adjusted boy. <laughs> I hate that you're probably right. <laughs> I am right. I hate it. They're going. They're they are now Dustin's surrogate parents. Billy's probably going to be Mike's stepdad. <laughs> Billy's probably Billy's probably going to so be Mike's stepdad. It's so weird that I want to see that happen. And it's so yeah, weird. I really do. Um, yeah, that was a weird moment towards the beginning where Billy needed to find out where it was. So he went to Mike's house, and uh, Mike's mom was kind of having a moment to herself. Bubble baths. Ted's and, useless. Yeah, because Ted's useless and sleep on the couch. And uh, she goes down there dripping wet. And low and a nice silky lingerie. Nice, yeah, Sorry, really. Well, a robe, but. Really, yeah, a nice, cute, silky robe. And then shirtless Billy. Well, okay, open shirt. Open shirt Billy. Because does he know how buttons work? I don't think no, so. No, he doesn't. And he basically seduces Mike's mom. Like, it's fairly, it's fairly certain. We're going to get a time skip for season three where everybody's in high school. Um, we don't know whether it's going to be like ninth or tenth grade, but I guess we're skipping over like eighth grade or whatever. And um, yeah, I got a feeling that that relationship is going to be weird and I want to see it. Yeah, even it's though, a weird way. I'm even though, so yes, it, it'll yeah. it'll leave Mike with a broken home, but like I really do want to see Whatever. how that happens because Mike's mom is hot. It's true. Mike's mom's hot. Mike's mom's clear, mean? clearly the hottest mom on on the uh, on the group. You she I mean? she might fight for Winona Ryder, but like she's 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 fighting for Winona Ryder as Winona Ryder, not as Joyce. Fair. Joyce has got okay, some baggage. Okay, but let's be honest, like. Will comes from a broken home, and I'm pretty sure Dustin does too, because it's just his mom. So like, because mom's Mike, he's, he's a cat lady. Mike has friends that would be able to help him get through that. Like, I'm pretty. I'm is, fairly certain. His dad Justin, does like nothing. So. I'm fairly certain Justin's Justin's dad left because Justin? uh, Dustin's dad. I'm pretty sure like he if he, we don't did he die? They don't really explain it. They don't really explain it. He's just not there. You don't my, know much about their family. My my feeling is that uh, she prioritized prioritized uh, Mew's uh, feelings over Dustin's dad. He left because uh, that woman loves cats a little bit too much. I mean, she's still a good mom. So. She's a good mom, though. Whatever. She is. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's it was such a great season. And then uh, everything is happy. Everybody's happy. Mike is kissing Elle and Lucas is kissing Max and uh, 
Nancy is making all the little girls jealous for Dustin, who is probably going to be the heartthrob of the next season. Better. And Steve is on the outside watching his his product grow up and wishing he didn't get a divorce. And Will's alive. And Will's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Will's alive and not a zombie or not anything else. And all is right with the world. And then it flips upside down and the Shadow King is alive. Well, don't forget that. Elle has a home now. Yeah, she's uh, Jane. Like, like she has a birth certificate now. Yes. She's yes. got to wait a year, but we're gonna have a time skip. So. Yeah. So we'll every literally everything couldn't have been better. So obviously, you had. And they to... even had justice for Barb finally. Yeah. Every, like literally everything has been tied up and everything is happy. So we couldn't have that. And the series... But Shadow Monster Boy is still alive. Shadow Monster is still alive. The Upside Down is still a thing. And um, he's not finished yet. Because we have a third season coming up. So obviously... And the Shadow Boys and Mind Flayer, they got some trouble. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I can't wait for Stranger Things 3. I'm really hoping that it comes out around uh, Halloween next year. I'm already crying about it. So <laughs> She's already crying about it. <laughs> But uh, that's pretty much it. Stranger Things is finally in the books. And next week we are back to the Punisher. Um, because the holidays are over. So uh, we can get back to death and destruction. and um, All that fun stuff. Yeah, all that painful PTSD. <laughs> and, and just oh. Oh, just bitterness that is the Punisher. But it's a, it's a great series. I'm not saying it's a bad series. But man... It was just not a Christmas series. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. But that's it, guys. Uh, we will catch you guys next week. Um, Justina is still on uh, on vacation at home, so it's just going to be me next week. Mm -hmm. And instantly, I just I felt 20 people tuning out to next week's episode already. Oh. But yeah, uh, next week's episode is just me. Uh, we tackle the Punisher, and then Justina's back for the, for the rest of uh, the way going through. And uh, we should get here just in time for um, Jessica Jones Season 2. We might have to do a refresher because she actually hasn't seen like anything but the first episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, but we might do a refresher. We might we might do like a whole binge thing. Well, I'm just going to watch it. It's like I have interest in that. I know, but we might do it's a It's like, whole... oh, you want to watch The Defenders? You got to watch Iron Fist. You can pay me enough. <laughs> Oh, Iron Fist two season two is coming out yeah, soon. They, no, they really not. did, and um, and now yeah. I think I've ruined Justine's Christmas because she now she realizes honestly, that honestly, she has to sit through thirteen episodes of Iron Fist. Okay. Thirteen more episodes of Iron Fist. Okay, so let me know in the comments below if you want an entire episode of me just ranting about how much I fucking hate Danny Rand. <laughs> you don't know. They could have fixed his character. I mean, he's probably didn't, but like you don't know. He could have fixed his character. They could have found what they did wrong and fixed it. You have too much faith in people. <laughs> Maybe. But that's it, guys. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, Happy New Year, guys. Uh, I'm really glad that you guys have been uh, tuning in for the entire thing. So our New Year's resolution is that you guys, we, we, uh, we do better and better programming for you guys. And, uh, and you like us. Not more of a resolution, more of a hope. But it could be your New Year's resolution. Could be yours. Yes. Make your New Year's resolution <laughs> to watch more Netflix and No Chill. With me. And, and me. Just see the keys. And we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>